Hey guys, how's it going? Chalman here, and welcome to uh, this little tutorial on how to do one of these, one of these types of automatic wheat farms. Now, uh, I have this wheat farm in in my base on my night, and uh, I thought I'd tell you guys how to do it. So this one's actually an alteration of mine, because mine's actually just normally three, but you can actually make it eight if you have two sides of water on uh, each side. So as you can see here, we're just going to click this l uh, lever and. Uh, it's gonna give us all of all of the wheat, which actually then puts it into hoppers. Unless they go into the side like this, because I don't know why you do this. Why you do this to me? But um, the hoppers are actually optional. You don't have to have the hoppers, but I have them just in case, like you uh, you need them. So I'm just gonna see how many you get from this. Let's pick up all the wheat. Oh, that was not supposed to be like that. Uh, oh, whoops. Oh well. So. Oh wait, I think you actually, I actually picked all that up. So I think you get about around 59 pieces of wheat. So I'm going to show you how to do this first. So first, you want to build it like this. Now this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And if you include that 14, 15, 16 by um, 8, 9, 10, I believe. Um, so yeah, so this one first of all is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this one is one, two, three, four. So that's how you want to build it. So this one has to be uh, eight because that's how far water can reach, and this one is only uh, four. And then I filled in the water for the next bit. So we have one, two, three. Four, oh, actually, wait, I already counted that. That was stupid. Um, but yeah, I put in the water here and all the pistons now. The good thing about this is they don't have to be sticky pistons. If you want to make it fancy, you can make it sticky pistons and, you know, retract all the um, all the stone or something so it looks more uh, professional, I suppose. But uh, I like it like this because sticky pistons, it's hard to come by slime and you can find this easier. So what I did was uh, the little outline of stone here, like this, and I put this stone so you can put the uh, pistons there. So I did that and I put the water there. So that's what I did in this one. And then this one's basically the final step. I just put glass in here so that it looks like um, it looks clear. You can see the glass and you don't fall into the water. You don't have to have this, but I do. And this is how the redstone goes. So what you want to do, as you can see here, uh, there's no blocks of stone here. You want to put like stone like this, like that, and then you want to put the redstone on top like this. Uh, no repeaters needed for this either, and no sticky pistons. So as you can see here, this works perfectly, and uh, flows down, flows down all of it, and it just reaches there, as you can see, because that's the water. So this is how you make one of these tutorials. I kind of like it, because um, it just looks nice. And I'll show you how to set up the hoppers, actually, as well. So on this one, you haven't got hoppers. So first of all, I'm going to need to get some hoppers. So, oop, capital, because I'm so angry. Okay, so hoppers and a chest, and what you want to do, you want to put the chest there first, and clear out all of this, and then because water's going to reach till there, you got to right, uh, not right click, uh, shift down, so that you don't open the chest like that, you got to shift down, and keep just placing hoppers like this to it, like this, and then once that's done, if I say I have like two items there, and turn this on, it will flood to the bottom. Wait, why am I even doing that? I could have just chucked it into the hoppers, can I? That was a bit retarded, my bad. So if I do that, chuck it down there, chuck it down there, it should get transported into this chest. So you can actually collect all the items and then replant all the farm. So this is the automatic wheat chest, uh, wheat farm. It also works for, it works for wheat, potatoes, and carrots so far, uh, which is um, this food, which is right here, the carrot um but yeah that's how you make one of these food um one of these food one of these farms so if you like this tutorial then uh, make sure to leave a like and uh, hopefully you enjoy it's pretty simple pretty simple mechanics to it but uh yeah so the redstone again because this is the most important bit the redstone has to be here on on this block oops that was the lever so the redstone has to be on this one, because if it is on this one, it affects the water, and that's bad. So it's got to be on this one, just one block above the water, and then the redstone, and you turn the lever on, if you have a lever, and boom, it should work like that. So no repeaters needed for this one, so that's why I kind of like it. But if you did need repeaters, then it would affect the water, which is not good. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching this tutorial, guys, and, um, yeah, goodbye.